Welcome back. This is MDog. You know, we've been playing a lot of different fishing games lately, and it's been a lot of fun testing uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Uh, I've actually, last week, or about a week ago, had some fun doing some of the targeting missions in Fishing Planet. In fact, I'm hope hoping to maybe even do that a little bit later tonight. I've certainly enjoyed what I would say overall is easily my second favorite fishing game. Fisher Online. It's just been a blast. I continued to play that pretty regularly. But sometimes I am reminded when I log into RF4 and start to figure out something to create a video on. There's nothing quite like, just in terms of how smooth and good the fishing mechanics feel, there's nothing quite like RF4. Okay, so here we are at 7351. We're using the Hornet 1001. Should mention that we are at Belaya, and we are going for, well, whatever we can catch here, right? Now, I did have the 5.4 fluorocarbon leader on, which I think was working really well, but then we landed a Timon, and so I have quickly changed this to 8.2, just to see if we can still get a decent bite rate. Um, so we're gonna check this out and see how it goes if the bite rate is suddenly gone then we'll switch back and see if that do really does make a difference so in this spot i started off casting like 70 80 percent cast and um, was catching some uh, in fact i think the largest grayling I've caught in this in these last few minutes 1.4 was caught at about a 70% cast like kind of like in this direction um, but since that time uh, I was also getting a few perch and stuff Ooh. in fact if one of these ca if one of these things I don't catch anything towards the end when I'm reeling it into the shore that seems to be where the highest chance of a perch hitting it would be um, I'm drinking my coffee, so I'm not doing as much speed up as I typically have been, but since I noticed that I started full casting, which with the rain, well, our energy is still in pretty good shape. So we've been pretty, you know, we have been full casting here. Um, and it seems like it's gone a little better frequently getting you know, quick bites even off the cast. So uh, I think you can still use this spot. All, all that to say, I think you can still use this spot if you're lower level and don't have the gear to do these really long casts like we can with these casting setups and higher level stuff. Um, you still catch plenty of good fish, but I do like having the ability to do these long casts and then bring it all the way back in. There's a little... Now, some of what you're seeing right now is it, it started raining and we're also have been in that awkward time of day. I mean, some of these early fish that were pretty decent were caught around 8.30, 9 a.m., which is when we first started. I did a little bit of testing. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I feel like this spot is showing some potential. I will have to do some more testing. We are using 24 retrieval speed. Obviously, you can mix that up. Uh, that's just kind of what I like to use sometimes when I'm at Belaya, but, and I've pretty much just doing been standard retrieval and then I will speed up some. And once speed up is over, I like to let it drop for a minute and then start up again. It's plenty of fish have been biting on the drop per usual. And it's so far out there with the long cast, we can do one more speed up. And then again, just sort of bring it in the end. And this is this little section here is where I have seen some perch at, at times. Looks like this time we're not going to have anything. And we'll try this a little bit more. And we might rotate back to the 5.4 liter at some point. But again, I think it just depends on how much it's going to affect our bite rate. But the fishing mechanics are just great in RF4. Everything just feels right on. So let's see what size fish this is. 
If it's an asp, it's not a marker. Oh, it's a chub, it looks like. So it could be a small marker. Yeah. We have caught everything. I mean, not everything, but we've seen asp, but none of them markers. Brown trout, not a marker. One chub now. Some decent grayling, a couple perch, and then that one timon. So kind of a weird little experience here. It feels like many of, or if not all of the predator fish at Belaya are available right here. We're using the Hornet 1. I do have a slightly larger hook. Uh, we're using a size 6 hook instead of the 8, which is default. And we're also using the Rage Treble, so uh, a little bit of furriness on there. A little furry. Again, pretty good bite rates. Um, this could be another marker grayling. All right, really quick, just for fun. This is what we had on before, 5.4. Cast it once or twice, then I think I'll go back to the 8.2 as we hit into like prime time evening fishing. Just want to try to catch it on the 8.2 liter, not the smaller one. See how we do. Uh, I don't think that's quite a marker. It's a, it's a uh, brown trout, right? There we go, on the drop. On the drop. All right, we'll switch back now. It doesn't seem like, oh, there's an ass, but it's not gonna quite be a marker, is it? We're good at catching these just under marker size ass. So now we go back to 8.2. See what happens. I think it's another one. Maybe if we sl throw slightly further north, we'll get less asp. I don't know. That's just a hunch. Could be totally wrong on that. It is a long way to bring these fish in. I think it's another one, isn't it? Looks like it from here. All right, well, let's go 90% instead of full max. Try to get out of the ASP um, school. What do we got here? There we go. I think that's going to be our first marker brown trout, right? Yeah, that's what we want. So that was at 90%. Quick, quick bite. There we go. Now, if this is an asp, it's a marker, right? As long as it's not a timon, could be something good. Ooh, look at those head jerks. What a jerk. He's a fighter. I'm going to guess it is an asp, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Almost lost him there. 
I mean, he's not spooling us, but he could pop off with all this head jerking. This is, this is what we're here for, though. Again, as long as it's not a timing. Just need to break his will and get him in, right? So badly also just want to see him oh it's an asp well hey that's better than a timing I, I don't mind it's our first marker asp uh, we knew they were out there that's a nice fish on an ultralight it really is we'll take that every time so if we'd had our 5.4 out still not that we would have been spooled but we would have been in a really long fight right that would have taken a little while That was fun, though. I'm not used to the Asp being this active at Belaya. They really are right now. Here, I thought we were going to be <clears throat> mostly catching Grayling and uh, maybe a few brown trout. Well, the Asp have kind of been the dominant species here. which I don't mind at all. They present a fun challenge. So I was wondering if that was gonna be a weekly ultralight for, uh, for our region, but with how active they are, it probably won't be. Uh, you also have asp on tuba, so that means people can go off, go after them on trolling. So, all sorts of ways in which it'd just be easier to get in a bigger ultralight asp than Belaya, but still a nice one, especially for Belaya. Doesn't it just seem like the same fish? This one might be three and a half kilos. Uh, maybe not. I, I don't know. Just in terms of the way it's behaving, it still seems like an asp to me. We're about to get a view of him, though. He actually has come in easier overall. So... It might not be three and a half kilos. All right, here he comes. Visual, yeah, it's just another asp. But hey, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll do, I'll take it. Like I, it is fun. This size asp on uh, on ultralight, this is a blast. Now, I don't know what they're worth. We'll check that once the bite dies off, but it's a blast, I'll tell you that. They keep you on your toes for ultralight. All right, one thing I'm going to adjust, I'm going to go up to speed 28. Ooh, right at the last minute. And it was a grayling. Beautiful. All right, 28 speed.
Grats on your trophy Vander there. Tro trophy Xander there. Outlaw Vic. That's awesome. All right, let's cast it one more time. Maybe it's a little fast. We are getting towards the end of the day, though. It's just about nighttime here. Hmm. I'm going to switch back to 24 speed. That may not be what's happening, maybe the time, but just in case. Max cast. Let's just see what happens out there. All right. Is that a perch way out there? It's that time of night. It's harder to get a bite right now, but still potential if we can get one of it being a pretty nice fish. We're going to go 90% again instead of full. And a little farther north again. Come on. Okay. That is a, is that a brown trout? Yeah. It's a nice one. A nice last fish if we don't get another one. It's a small brown trout. They're definitely right in that spot, aren't they? It has officially become nighttime, by the way. Like real nighttime. Full cast. There we go. A bonus fish. It's a grayling. His mohawk is pretty, pretty well developed, so he's a decent one. Oh 
yeah. 10.30 p.m. Catching Grayling. Another well-established mohawk. Bless you. All right, one more cast after this and then we're done. another brownie and it's a marker as well all right we'll cast again it's a nice one I think that's the best brownie of the day actually Tell you, fishing ultralight is a lot of fun. Okay, let's see how we did. I'm really curious about the asps because they may, I don't know. I just don't know kind of how they compare price-wise. Um, uh, we are catching chub out there, but to get three of them that size, that is asking a lot because it's a small percentage of chub. Hadn't seen any eyed, which is unfortunate. Uh, I wish I knew an eyed spot at Belaya. We'd jump on that with that many cafe orders. All right, so let's see. Here we go. So the asp, that's not bad. 25 silver a piece for the bigger ones. We've got nine and eight silver for the brown trout. They add up, but obviously the asp are worth a lot more. Um, now they're a lot bigger fish. I mean, if we had gotten, I think the brown trout, once you get over a kilo, I think they start jumping up in price too. I mean, those were a couple of nice asps, again, especially for ultralight. The chub is one silver. These graylings are really nice. With how frequent you catch them, uh, I mean, just on grayling, we've got, grayling, we've got 79.98 silver. So you know we're doing pretty good. Nothing to talk about. Perch, two silver for the timon. So let's look at this. We're at 160 silver in, oh, however many minutes we started fishing about 9 a.m. so about 38 minutes you could extend the day a little bit because you could start probably about 4 30 getting bites something like that so you could definitely do a little better than this but this was a blast ultralight um let's look at the u.s weekly one last thing let's look at the u.s weekly on ultralight for an asp how big are we talking oof hey Grats to you folks. Those are some nice ones at Belaya, but you always expect to see some really nice ones at Tuba as well, especially when you are trolling around on the boat, chasing them down. Those are some good ones though. Oh, that's all regions. My bad. My bad. Still pretty good though. So ours were not far off. Did I already sell them? I did. Ours were right there. 3.2 is the smallest, so we were right close. Okay, hey, uh, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Tight lines. Uh, let me know if you do any ultralight fishing. Uh, I kind of feel like doing more. I just don't know where else I would do it. Tunguska has been decent, I think, over in this little side creek. So I guess we could try that. But uh, anyway, as always, I will see you next time.